Team Turbo, more like Team Super Slow. This game is so boring. How can anyone mess up a Pokemon game? This is saddening. All right, so what is this giant pile of garbage? Well, it was produced by ValueSoft. This should be an automatic red flag. ValueSoft is a division of THQ. They developed games on a small budget. We have several ValueSoft games and they are all pretty bad. In 2012, when THQ went out of business, Cosme Corporation acquired the ValueSoft side for an undisclosed amount. Eventually we will make a video about the brief history of THQ. Just know that when you see THQ on any game we show, that company no longer exists. Anyway, point is, ValueSoft's games are usually trash and Pokemon Team Turbo is no exception. Truth be told, Pokemon Turbo seems to be one of those promotional games for kids. We don't know for sure seeing as we can hardly find any information on the game. Bulbapedia, a fan-made Pokemon database, is our main source. We can't find ads or any sort of information. We've concluded that this is probably a shovelware and meant for kids. We found it among a stack of educational games in an antique store. I think even that retailer knew this probably served a specific purpose. It has a series of mini-games, including word searches, crossword puzzles, some weird door-guessing thing I still don't understand, and a Tetris-like matching game. Oh, and dominoes. But it's like a fill-in-the-blank domino puzzle thing. I don't know. The main part of this game is racing. You steer with the mouse and there is no gas or brake. Each course has its own surface and obstacles. The water doesn't even move. Look at this. The water has ripples frozen in time. If you play the adventure mode, you complete minigames to get power-ups in the next race. No matter what Pokemon you choose in the beginning, your racing ability doesn't change. There are a couple of pickups. One is Rayquaza's name. It's spelled wrong. Try to type his name right in the crossroad and you'll get it wrong. The big hiccup is the background glitch. If you go behind the start line of the race, you can glitch into the background. Now you can explore glitch heaven. Probably the only thing I think a kid would have wrong with this game is music. Just listen. Literally a five second loop. That's Pokemon Team Turbo, not much more to say. I say to avoid this game unless you are a collector or have a small child who is super into Pokemon. CD-ROM Fossil is a group dedicated to preserving PC gaming. We try to obtain CD-ROM games by going to flea markets, pawn shops, and sometimes online sellers. We have no goal of resale. Instead, we hope to save video games from destruction by keeping them in a safe collection and digitally archiving them. If you'd like to support us, follow the links in the description below. Also, make sure you check out our website, where you can read all about us on our blog and further details about our mission. I'm Caitlin Boss, and this has been Pokemon Team Turbo.